Hey everybody, this is Modern Refugee, having a little coffee right now. And I thought I'd uh, show something to you guys. Uh, I was feeling a bit nostalgic while I was out uh, hunting this year. So I decided while I was out hunting I was going to carve myself a poor man's fishing pole. And uh, this is basically what it looks like. Um, these were kind of popular when I was a little kid uh, growing up. A lot of people would use something like this that was hand carved that held a little bit of a fishing line and uh, they would keep this in their vehicles and uh, they would keep this uh, in their tackle boxes or whatever and they would use these to uh, fish um, particularly off of uh, bridges. Now you can rig these any way you want. You can rig them with a little with a hook with a little flash on. That's another way that you can do it. You can rig them with a bobber. You can rig them with uh, different size uh, sinkers if you need it. But around here, people used on these what's called a Russian hook. And that's what a Russian hook is. It's a uh, little bit of a spoon with a little piece of lead on it with a hook on it. And then they're colored or uh, they got a little flash or something on them. And uh, these were extremely popular when I was a kid, these Russian hooks, um, because you don't need any weight with them. So you could get away with not having a, uh, a sinker on your line. And uh, my mom, she always had one of these in uh, the glove box of her old Oldsmobile when I was a kid growing up. And if she heard that the uh, perch were running, either in the spring or the fall, she would go out to the river and she would go out on the railroad bridge and she would actually take a little contraption like this and she would drop it down in between the railroad ties and that's how she would fish. And the one fishing pole that we did have, she gave that to me and then I would fish with the pole and... Uh, she would fish with this because you can kind of just uh, jig with this or you can kind of uh, unwrap the line and you can kind of hand line it and I believe that's actually what the technical term for these is is a, a hand line setup um, but it was never called that when I was a kid it was just kind of a, a poor man's fishing pole or just a little homemade uh, fishing reel or rig um, and then, um, after Mom and I, we would catch perch, we would go home and we would clean them, and uh, Mom would uh, put some cornmeal on them, and she'd fry them up for uh, supper. So that was kind of a one of the things that we had when uh, we were growing up, especially in the spring and the fall when the uh, perch would run here in Michigan. But uh, like I said, I was kind of feeling nostalgic, so I decided I was going to whittle me one of these uh, deals. I'm going to throw it in one of my packs. I'm not sure which one yet, but... Uh, just for uh, old time's sake, this is what it looks like here. I just split this out of a uh, small piece of ash, and then I carved that uh, dog bone style on either end. And then, so I moved the line over there a little bit, took the end of my uh, bushcraft knife, and uh, just drilled a little bit of a, a hole in the end there to uh, get the line started. And I've got about probably 50 or so yards of 12-pound uh, test monofilament is what I got on here, but you could use... Um, any test line that you would want on uh, something like this. But uh, seen different ones of these when I uh, was a kid. I seen some that were more fancy. I seen uh, some that were less fancy like this one right here. But uh, just something to show you guys um, to add uh, to your knowledge for uh, keeping a uh, basic fishing setup. But anyway, this is Modern Refugee. Appreciate all my subscribers out there. Hope you guys get a little information, a little entertainment out of this video here. Just uh, me taking a walk down uh, memory lane. But you guys take care.